Hello, I am a Hindu. My name is Nadira. Who's here? Uh, I'm Angel and my name is Hello, my name is A traditional green leaf, which the company can be different, but usually includes some combination of vegetable, garlic, ginger, chili pepper, salt, and fish sauce. The mixture of ginger may be pickled and fermented, which will originate a way to preserve the vegetable for their meat Usually, kimchi is the most common vegetable used to make kimchi. There are also other vegetables that use for making kimchi, such as carrot, radish, cucumber, and skillet. There are hundreds of kimchi recipes that vary depending on the region as you said, in which they are produced and it's very easy to make this a baking dish by keeping all the ingredients on this. In Korean culture, kimchi is served with almost every meal including breakfast, not only eaten by itself as side dish or appetizer that called banchan, but it also used as an ingredient for a variety of dishes, for example, kimchi chicken. Kimchi chicken is a traditional stew made with kimchi. Kimchi is a traditional Korean dish that are originated for over 3,000 years ago which from the Korea period. The tradition of making kimchi started as a way to ferment and store vegetables during the cold winter when the Korean died due to starvation and due to that time they are trade exported with other kingdoms and they found new vegetables to bring back to Korea which is Napa or Chinese cabbage. As a result, the way kimchi was prepared changed a lot. The original kimchi was made from radis since this was a local product. But over 100 years, new kimchi and vegetable spices were used to prepare different variations of the dish. Hello everyone, today I will walk you through the fascinating process of manufacturing kimchi. Let's begin. Step 1 is preparation. Start by gathering fresh and high quality ingredients such as a cabbage, radish, garlic, ginger and red chili flakes. Step 2 is cleaning and salting. The cabbage is truly clean and cut into bite-sized pieces. Then it's salted to draw out excess water and to help with the fermentation process. Step 3 is seasoning. While the cabbage is being salted, prepare the seasoning paste. Step 4, mixing. Once the cabbage is ready, rinse it to remove the excess salt and squeeze out any remaining water. Then mix it with the seasoning paste, ensuring every piece is coated evenly. Step 5, fermentation. The kimchi mixer is transferred into fermentation container. It's left to ferment at room temperature for a specific duration, typically a few days to weeks. Step 6 is aging and storage. After the initial fermentation, kimchi can be eaten right away. Wow. 괜찮습니까? 장맛이네. 장맛이. 아. 어떻게 맛있어요? 와, 진짜 맛있습니다. 요리 김치 프로덕션, the bacteria convert the carbohydrates in the ingredients into lactic acid through a process called lactic acid fermentation. This not only preserves the kimchi but also adds a tangy flavor to it. For your information, one of the most important bacteria that First, during this fermentation in kimchi production is lactobacillus, which helps create the unique flavor and texture of the final product. The mechanism of the lactic acid fermentation involves the breakdown of glucose into pyruvate through a series of reactions known as glycolysis. This process occurs in the absence of oxygen and is known as anaerobic respiration. Besides that, the lactic acid produced during fermentation makes the kimchi more acidic, preventing the growth of harmful bacteria and molds and extending the shelf life of the kimchi. This fermentation process helps by factors like salt, low temperature, and other ingredients. For example, salt reduces moisture and slows foliage, while low temperature prolongs fermentation and allows more time for bacteria to convert carbohydrate into lactic acid. The ingredients like garlic, ginger, and chili peppers aid fermentation by nourishing bacteria and creating a favorable environment. All in all, it's important to note that kimchi can undergo natural changes in flavor and aroma as it continues to ferment over time. Individuals may have different preferences when it comes to the level of fermentation that they find appealing. A pungent and overly sour kimchi can be a sign of fungal growth or other way to recognize a kimchi that come back. We can simply see if there is a bloating of the kimchi container that may indicate an excessive relief of gases during fermentation. After all, it has been known that the longer kimchi ferments, the higher the levels of beneficial bacteria and the potential for increased nutrient availability due to its richness in a good source of several vitamins and minerals. <laughs>